Hello reformers and welcome back to Viking Conquest. Now when we left off we had just stolen a ship from some fellows off the coast of Cardiff, wasn't it? Yeah, I think something like that. And we have now returned to Dunwich waters and we've encountered a bunch of Frankish raiders. Now these guys are going to be pretty difficult I think, but it will give us an opportunity to check out what our friends over there are trying to do. Now, as far as I'm aware, that boat does not have any oars and it is relying solely on wind power, which I gotta say is a bit worrying because as you can see, they're not moving very fast. So that's not great, but I guess we're just gonna we're just going to try our best to support them, I suppose, because what we're going to do is we're going to try and come in from the side here, and maybe that's going to make a bit of a difference in how much we're able to assist them. Oh, they do have oars. Why weren't they using them? Those lazy imbeciles. Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but okay. So let's try and get a bit closer to these guys. Can we do that? Oh, it seems like bad things are happening. Bad things. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so if I can just... There we are. Okay. That's a much better positioning, and hopefully we'll be able to head in here and do some massive damage. Yes, come on now. Yes, okay, okay, yeah, okay, maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> a little bit too much attention I'm getting right here, that's not very nice. Okay, could you, could you just, could you just not? There we go, come on now. Yes, I have one of my friends helping me, very good, thank you. Thank you very much for that, Spearman. Let us continue the rampaging. Yes, continue the rampage. Now, I'm, I'm unsure. Which uh, which ship do they have here? Ooh, they have a pretty nice one. So maybe if we can, uh, against all odds, claim it for ourselves, then we might actually have an opportunity. I don't think I don't think we've gained it. I think they would have probably given us that prompt right after the victory. But we do gain... A couple of slave drivers and a slave hunter, which is actually pretty good. Actually, slave... Uh, yeah, no. Slave drivers become slave hunters. Oh, okay. So, I'll get the slave hunters then. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so yeah, that's that's good. That's pretty decent. I have a... Uh, the loot here is not very good, as you can see. The This torso armor is not as good as what our companions currently have. So, it's basically pointless for me to take it anyway. And we do have a bunch of wool and iron and all these things to sell. So hopefully we'll be able to do that once we arrive at Dorstadt. That's actually what I was attempting to do when I came across those guys there. So let us head onward and hopefully if we are going to come across anyone else we have a suitable healthy party ready for that particular circumstance. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to happen. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Can we, could you, come on now. Is our wound treatment actually working or would you just like to take a day off? Yeah, seems like, seems like they're taking a day off at the moment. Are they? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I was hoping that I could come across a bunch of other ones, uh, other Frankish raiders in, in this area, but it seems like maybe I'm just unlucky in that respect. I'm going to wait here a little bit and see if I can find some. Maybe, maybe they're going to come out of the woodwork or something? Uh, no, just Christian clergy and traders, basically. Ah. Okay. Well, oh, oh. Ah. Here we go. Yes, we found some more. Okay, so we have 57. 57. 47 against their 29. This should be easy enough. Oh, and they're, they're just seeming a little bit faster than I am, but thankfully I'm able to catch them up with the aid of the speed-up function, of course. There we go. And now... Ah, they have two ships in this battle. Okay, well, we have, I guess, double the chances for us to try and get some. And, oh yeah, I believe that uh, some of you mentioned that you can get really, really good ships in the Scandinavian areas. So, that's also a good reason for us to head on over to Dorstadt and see what we can do there. Now, I'm going to use my... Uh, oh, wait, wait, there we go. Use my oars and... Uh, yes, this is probably not the best idea, is it? Yes, probably not. Ooh, these guys are only only sailors. Oh, my. They're not going oh, to do very well here. Yeah, jump across. Ah, oh, we have some sort of superhuman Borgar. Yes, that's his name. And also his designation, apparently. 
Superhuman Borgar. Yes. Anyway, let us continue. Let us continue the slaughter. There we go. Oh, wow. These guys really don't know what they're doing. I mean, they, they, they must be pretty good at, um, you know, piloting their vessel. But uh, apart from that, they don't seem they don't seem very experienced. But if we're able to capture one of these, then I'll be very happy with that. Okay, so now, can I... Can I do something? Yes, I can. I can actually pilot their ship? That is amazing. Let's let's drive on over over there and see if I can turn this around a little bit and maybe whoa, this is this is pretty cool. So we've now multiplied basically. We've multiplied into numerous attack vessels and well, it's actually not even necessary cuz you see these guys over here? There's only sailors left and I do have a bunch of ah yeah, there we go. Oh, 50 damage. Nice. That was actually pretty good. I actually like that. <laughs> when I hit with throwing weapons, it's very, very satisfying. But obviously, most of the time, I'm going to miss because, I don't know, I'm just not very good at using them. When we're not in naval battles, it's kind of a bit weird. Whenever I'm in a naval battle, I always seem to have much better luck when it comes to hitting enemies. So not entirely sure what's going on there. But we are able to rescue 44 sailors. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get any ship so unfortunately that will not increase our company size and as a result we can't take these sailors uh, a bit annoying but what can you do ah now I do know that some of our companions don't have shields so it would be quite nice for us to take some and actually give them so let's do that just now I think who yes Helgi and I think it is Bodo I think they they do not have shields, so it would be a nice idea to give them something there. Uh, is it is it Bodo? I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So yeah, it it, it is a battered round shield, but it's literally just a little bit worse than what I currently have. So it's not really a big deal there. And uh, yeah, I find it kind of weird that our forces are not leveling up that fast. They seem to be quite slow when it comes to leveling up, even though we are fighting some pretty difficult enemies for the most part. I guess most of the enemies that we fought just there were sailors, but still. Alright, so heading into the goods merchant here, you can see, wow, an absolutely magnificent amount of wine. And then two jewelry stacks there as well. So this is going to be pretty fantastic. But again, <laughs> wool has just gone absolutely crazy in terms of its pricing. So it is now at, a, I think, an all-time high. Because we've rarely gotten about 800 per wool. You know, sometimes it's been about 750. But 800 is like 791 right now, which is pretty crazy. So let's just take a bunch of wine and jewelry. And then we'll just swap out a bunch more wool let's have a look is there anything else Ooh, salt salt could be really really useful as well we might be able to sell that at cardiff or we might be able to sell that at reba because i know that reba seems to like salt as well so let's sell some iron too and that's all i can do really thank you and i'm literally bankrupting all of them because they just don't have enough money to buy all of my stuff which is kind of annoying but oh well Okay, there's some more iron, and I can sell some more wool as well. It's just absolutely crazy, real crazy. Okay, so and then 1,900. Wow, they're, they're not very rich right now. They're usually quite rich, and I can sell a bunch, but this time around, not so much. Okay, so let's assess the local prices real quick, just to make sure that we are doing the right thing by purchasing salt. Yes, as you can see, buying salt here and selling it at Cardiff would give us a pretty decent profit. So let's do that. And we should remember that we bought salt for around 100. And so if we do come across something else, you know, for example, something in Reba or maybe something around there, maybe Tunsberg, you know, maybe something like that, then we might be able to sell it there for a decent enough profit anyway. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. I'm going to go and check out the ships because number of you said that, uh, what is it now, Scandinavian territory is really good for ships. So hopefully we'll be able to find something nice. Oh, okay. This is apparently it. And it's one of the lowest tier of boats. Oh, well, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll find something better in the next town. And we might be able to find a couple more Frankish raiders. I think that would be pretty fun because I actually have a lot of fun doing the naval battles. I feel like this mod does naval battles the best but obviously that you know 
it, it needs to. Uh, you know, it's paid. You know, it's a paid paid mod, paid DLC, whatever you want to call it. But it really does need to do those things very, very polished and very smoothly because otherwise, you know, that would be that would be pretty bad. Anyway, let's go over to Reba. I'm going to go along the coast because it seems like Frankish raiders tend to stay relatively close to the coast. Is that is that just me? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't know. But hopefully we'll be able to find some because I'd love to be able to get an additional ship without having to pay for it. That would be fantastic because these ships that we are currently piloting here, piloting, yeah, that we are currently sailing with, they're pretty expensive. So I don't really want to spend another 20,000 or somewhere about there on another ship so maybe I'm gonna to have to do something a little bit different maybe I'm just gonna to have to hunt down those Frankish Raiders all the time and just try and see if I can do something with them and ah okay so we have some furs here maybe we want to do something and oh we could sell salt for 301 that's pretty decent but it's not good enough is it is it good enough I don't know because wine at the moment for me to sell it is just crazy good so I don't know. I mean, look at that. I can sell that for, what, 760? And I can sell jewelry for 1,000. I guess I should just buy some of the furs here. And amber is not very good anywhere, as far as I could tell. So let's just swap a bunch of this wine, and there we go. That's literally all I can do. Shall we see how much the amber is going to be? So let's just assess it and see. Uh, selling it at Cruargan is 40 profit. That's not, it, that's, that's not good enough. It's not good enough. Okay. Let's sell some of this salt here, because we can. And there's a thousand pennies here, so we can just give them one piece of wine. And wow, they really don't have that much, do they? They really don't. Okay, this is this is uh, this is difficult. This is very difficult because you'd think that they'd you know be absolutely f happy and fine to take these things, but apparently not. Oh well. Okay. Oh wait a minute. I didn't check for the ships, did I? We need to go and check. I don't want to wait here for some time. Thank you very much. Yes, I would like to check the ships. Yes, okay. So let's have a look. Ah, okay. So this is good because this ship is made of oak. And, well, we know oak to be the best material to create boats out of, as far as I'm aware. And, whoa, their condition is actually really... <gasps> oh, my. Look at that. That's the kind of That's the kind of ship we want. That is the kind of ship we want. It goes really fast, almost as fast as the snack here, right here. And it is only double, well, just a little bit over double price. And it has much bigger capacity. I would love to be able to get one of these, but it's highly unlikely. I mean, you can see right now I have 20,000. I will be able to get this if I just do a little bit more trading. So I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. That is a bigger improvement on the ones at Dorstadt. That's for, that's for sure. So hopefully we'll be able to do something there. And also I want to check here for a ransom broker. Yes, there's a ransom broker. Thank you very much. Take all of them. Thank you. And yeah, so we got to remember Reba has the, has the good ships by the looks of things. And hopefully... They'll still be there by the time we actually get around to making that much money. Now, I do have to be a little bit careful about Frankish Raiders, because some of them can have pretty huge parties, from what I remember. And those guys are certainly maybe not to be trifled with, who knows. Alright, so this is a little bit dubious for me, because they have a bunch of regular Vikings, and they have then they have four Sphere Elite Vikings and a ship captain. But they do have very very many prisoners so that must mean that they have at least two ships of pretty sizable you know sizable size yeah sizable size good good nice redundant statement right there but anyway we're going to continue attempting to take them and this is gonna be interesting because uh our ship over there to our right is kind of bad and i gotta say it's a bit embarrassing for us to actually have that as a as an addition in our in our fleet I'd very much like them to go first because I found that when these small vessels, you know, actually enter battle, they're not very good at positioning themselves because obviously the AI is controlling them for the most part. And suffice it to say, yeah, when you try to get them in position, they don't really do it well. And it's kind of one of these things where you kind of have to get them in first and then you go in after that and then you just hope that that's going to work out oh yeah there we go nice jump in right there make sure that we don't fall into the ocean because that would 
Oh uh, yeah, that would that would definitely be pretty bad. And now, commence the slaughtering. Yes. Now we need to be very very careful because obviously I don't want to fall in. That would be hmm, very very bad because I think we'd probably lose. I think we'd probably lose if uh, if I actually did that because these guys have huge amounts of regular Vikings and suffice it to say that they are very very good at what they do and we are not so good we are not so good at what we do so we do need Borgar's assistance for victory to occur so hopefully we'll be able to do that I'm gonna just try and distract some of the early additions to the reinforcements of our enemy here and maybe I will be able to well we seem to have done really well the, what Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised because you would think such a huge contingent of Vikings Would be pretty difficult, but apparently not. Maybe they were injured I, I do know that some of them were actually injured from pillaging a traveler's ship along the way So maybe that was the reason anyway, there we go now. Let us cross our fingers for a particular ship to be awarded to a, uh, to a, uh, I was hopeful. I was hopeful to, to gain something there, but no such luck. No such luck. Okay, so what are we going to take? Well, I've already taken some veteran slave hunters. And we might want to take some slaver chiefs as well. And I guess I'll get slave hunters as well. Uh, it seems like we're growing into some sort of slaver here. Which I suppose is okay, considering. I'm going to lose one of these sailors here, because I don't know whether that really makes too much of a difference. And these peasant women take a long time to level up, so I'm going to swap them out as well for one of these slave hunters. And that's it. So we have 100% combat right here. 100% combat. And what about the helms that we can buy here? What, what, buy? That we can sell here? They're pretty, they're pretty decent. Pretty decent. I mean, we don't really have anywhere to sell them as it is. So, yeah, I guess that's not really a big deal for us to take them. Okay, so let's make our way over to Tunsberg and we'll see whether we are lucky enough maybe to run into some more Frankish raiders. No, seems like we were a bit unlucky not to gain a ship. But, oh well, it, it does have a pretty low chance of happening, and we do know now where to get those things. Let's take a quick look at the ships in the port here for sale. Ah, oh, that's actually a pretty decent price for this ship. It's pretty fast. Ah, oh, this is nice too. And that moves very, very quickly, but it is made of pine, uh, which is kind of bad. And it does move at a very fast speed. 55 men, pretty good. And there's two of those. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Well, that's actually not too bad, but not as good as the one that we saw previously, of course. But not not that bad. All right. So let's sell a bunch of our things here. Can I sell some... I can sell wine here for a good amount. Huh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's sell the salt as well. Look at this guy. He's really rich, this merchant. Okay, I'm happy with that. Sell the salt... Sell everything we can, and what about the jewelry? Yeah, we can sell the jewelry here too. So apparently you can sell jewelry and wine in Tun in Tunsberg for about the same that you can in Reba. So that's good to know. I actually did not know that before. So that's nice. And where can I take the tar? Let's just assess the local prices real quick and see. T oh, selling it at Jorvik for 365 profit. That's Pretty good. Where is Jorvik, by the way? There it is. We should be able to go there pretty easily with our own ship now. We don't have to pay for, you know, traveling to certain ports and things like that. So that's pretty good. So I think we're probably going to buy some tar, and I might go to the various villages in the area as well, because that seems to maybe yield some extra extra results, because obviously if we can buy some tar for a very, very cheap price, then we should be able to get that at some villages and, uh, you know, maybe make some extra profit that way. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.